Roosevelt's vision of conservation has led to the preservation of millions of acres of parks, forests and wildlife refuges for future generations to enjoy. Some of America's greatest escapes. Bindi has passed all the tests. Your book. And for all the things that you learned about the park and things that you're going to do in the future, just like Mr. Roosevelt did, yeah. your official junior ranger. Oh, thank you. Here's thank your you. badge. What's here, of course, is the opportunity to experience what Theodore Roosevelt did in the 1880s. One can find the solitude here, one can find the wildlife that was here when Theodore Roosevelt was here, and the scenery. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is open all year and the best months to visit are May to September. Rushmore National Memorial, a giant work of art that pays homage to inspirational leaders of the past. But along the way, there's a place I've always wanted to see, a legendary town that was home to some of the great characters of the Wild West. Deadwood, South Dakota. It's all a little different these days, but this depicts what it would have been like way back in the 1800s. This is the Wild West right here. Everyone from Custer, Calamity Jane, to Kevin Costner in modern day came here and either got shot or got shot at. And right here, right fair smack dab here was where Wild Bill Hickok was shot dead. This is the actual location where Wild Bill bit the dust and is now part of American Wild West history. But you can see the modern, the new Deadwood has tried to stay with the same theme that they had way back in the 1800s. The spirit of Wild Bill Hickok is everywhere you go in Deadwood, but legend becomes reality when you visit the local cemetery. This is the final resting place for Calamity Jane, a woman as wild as the Wild West she helped to tame. She worked on a bull train, a Wild West show, and she was even a woman of ill repute. But she did have a softer side. She would often nurse people back to health who were sick, and she had a weakness, and that was Wild Bill Hickok. I think she was in love with him, and she asked that in the end she would be buried next to him, and she got her wish. Calamity Jane and Wild Bill Hickok. Just another story in a town that's full of them. Rushmore, where the kids are going to learn about American history and the icon that makes our country so great. As a memorial to four presidents, Mount Rushmore is also a tribute to the determination of a sculptor, Goodson Baldwin. You bob with a snowball. Got him. <laughs> Get a bob. Get him. Wait a minute, that's daddy. There's a great wilderness surrounding Mount Rushmore where you'll see a lot of wildlife and maybe even some in the car park. Here's the mountain ghost right here. Check this out. Is it mountain goats, Bob Bob? Mountain goats. Mountain goats. You can see they're tagged. Um, that girl over there, she's actually got a radio collar on so they can keep an eye on them, make sure the population dynamics stays right where they want them. Mount Rushmore in the background, how long at that? It's just it's spectacular. It is, it's really good. The what giant faces were carved out of the granite over three decades. A story of vision and perseverance. And push. In the interpretive centre, we're having fun setting off old footage of dynamite being used in the carving process. Which one do you want to blow up, brother? Whoosh! Oh, you did it! The sculptor was a highly respected artist of the 1920s, and he took on this job just to prove it was possible to carve a mountain. Mount Rushmore represents the first 150 years of US history. 
from independence to the early 20th century. What's that? George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Did you see them all up there? And do you know why they picked these presidents? Why? They picked George Washington because he was the one who helped this country fight for independence. Thomas Jefferson worked really hard to make sure that he developed a government for the people. It's called a democracy. And Abraham Lincoln, he freed the slaves, didn't he? Uh -huh. Theodore Roosevelt was the one who really brought 20th century ideals to the world, and he did so much for conservation. So, Blaine, when we look at um, George Washington, mm -hmm. below his chest is still the rough, chiseled look. Was he actually going to carve that as well, was he? Sure. With George Washington being the most prominent and the first started on Mount Rushmore, uh -huh. they were hoping to get to the waist with George Washington. Wow. You can see the collar, which, quite, which is nice and smooth. That has undergone the last step in the carving, smoothing of the sculpture. As we come down, the, the, the sculpture on the chest part that's still rough, you can kind of see the vertical lines in it. They're still blasting and drilling the rock off there to try and get down to the finished product. Bindi and I have been given the privilege of climbing to the top of the monument and actually standing on George Washington's head. The stone workers made the climb every day to turn this mountain into a work of art. At the top, they'd be lowered on cables over the cliff face. It was dangerous, but not a single worker died in a project spanning 30 years. The original plan included a hall of records with American history chiseled in granite on the walls. But it was decided the faces were enough, and a permanent place for history had to wait until the end of the 20th century. In 1998, we drove this hole and put this capstone on top of it. Now what's inside this are 16 big tablets made out of a special material. And on those entablatures are the entire text of the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Gettysburg Address. Four very important documents in America's history. Also on those entablatures are the history of Mount Rushmore. Only a special few are invited to make this climb. Look at this. Yes! Woo! Here we are on the top of the world. And how we go with this? There's Thomas Jefferson's nose. It is a great honour. The greatest of great honours. Looking honors. down on the Mount Rushmore Amphitheatre and actually standing on top of the sculptures accomplished with dynamite, jackhammers and chisels to carve out one of America's greatest treasures. I helped it connect people to this place by uh, giving programs and talking to them about this place and helping them understand why this place might be important to them. Mount Rushmore opens all year with visitor services open daily except in December. Our next escape isn't far. A bit over an hour's drive across some of America's great grasslands into the Badlands National Park. Sunset, a typical rural cemetery, an ice cream lid, and a break from driving to stretch our legs. Show the camera all of the animals in your book. Black, black bear. Wow, good boy. That's the black bear, isn't it? Yeah. Buffalo, that buffalo. Good boy. Big horn sheep. Big horn sheep. Big horn sheep. You know what the best thing about the Badlands is, kids? What? Daddy gets to be bad. <laughs> he gets to be bad. Naughty yeah, Daddy's the naughty side. Bindi's not naughty. Now too hot. 